hi guys welcome back to my channel so since we've got a bit of a series thing going I'm just gonna continue it today with um, a how I study histology or microanatomy video uh, people call it different things we call it both microanatomy and histology so how I study that thing whatever you call it so um, as so this semester we're going to be examined on anatomy as a whole gross anatomy which is like the big things and microanatomy which is histology like what you see under the microscope which I'm sure you guys know that I don't know why I'm telling you that because I'm sure you already know anyway let me just start so my uni doesn't give us many things but they did give us this booklet so we have one histology lecture a week and one practical so in the practical we basically go over whatever we were taught in the lecture and we have this amazing booklet with some slides on it and then you can like label the slides if you want to some people don't label them at all they they don't label the book they write on a separate piece of paper and then come revision time they will then look at the book try and figure out what it is and then look back to their notes whereas i write directly on the booklet so yeah I can then go back to it in revision and I can see where everything is so that um, on the exam we basically get given a slide and then you have to tell them what it is and why you think it is that and I, this book pretty much equips us for that. The next thing I have which I have for everything is my notebook and you guys are pretty aware of my notebooks and how I live by these so like for micro I will just write down some basic stuff and then maybe a little illustrated image we all know I can't draw but like for example sorry that it's sideways but yeah whatever and that was like um, lymphoreticular and this just helps me because I then can write down so like I said the exam they show you something and then they ask you to tell them what what it is and why you think it's that and in this book I have the why's why is why can I be certain that that is the thymus? Why can I be certain that that is this? And I can list like the hallmark things that are in in that specimen. And like I revise them from the book basically. So yeah, that's why I take notes on micro, which some people find really not useful at all. But I think it's I think it's a good thing. Third thing is this book, Functional Histology by Kerr. There's a much newer version, and I know that, but the newer version is super, super in demand at my library, so I have to borrow the old one if I want it for longer. So I've got this one, and I don't mind, like, it's fine. It's got everything that I need. It's got the explanations that I need. It's got the specimens to help me explain those things. So yeah, no, this is absolutely fine for me. That's just an example of the page. But there is, yeah, there's a newer edition, which is, it just feels more modern and looks more modern. But for me, this is fine. Like, it does the job. It's pretty, it's extremely similar, except just doesn't look as nice. This one looks like it's been to the wall and back. But yeah, functional histology is a definite must alongside other things. My next thing is um, Shotgun Histology. It's a YouTube channel. And basically... You see him going through the slide, you see him explaining the slides, and you can just watch that over and over and over again, and voila, you're revising whilst on YouTube. Like I always say this, YouTube is amazing. YouTube is a tool that should not be shunned upon, like, it's pretty awesome. So, yeah, I'll link the page in the description bar. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever said that, I think. I'll link it down below. So, yeah, um... It's a great way to revise histology, like I think it's pretty awesome. There's also some other websites which you can look at specimens and then obviously try and work out what the specimen is, what the hallmarks for that specimen are. I think one is Michigan something. If I remember it, I'll put it somewhere, either on the screen or in the description bar. If I don't remember it, then I'm sorry. You can Google it. But yeah, there's loads of great resources on the internet. We're lucky that um, our university uses like an online thing that I can log into at home and review some specimens and try and like 
you know, work out what they are, why do I know that it's this, etc, etc, and just prep for the exam. So that's pretty much it. That's how I revise for histology. And we we did it last semester as well as this semester. So it's become a little bit easier to recognize certain things. I mean, the first time you ever look at a specimen, you're just like, what am I looking at? Like, this is just swirly lines. But the more you look at, the easier it becomes to recognize things. So yeah, that's why I think the YouTube is really good, Shotgun Histology, as well as some online resources and Functional Histology. Like, I, I'm a big fan of Functional Histology when I can be bothered to sit down and look through a book. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Feel free to subscribe if you want to. And you can also follow me on Instagram, which is written somewhere here. Alright, bye guys.